Hello everyone, I'm Laszlo and in this demo I'm going to show you how to install a Streamlit application on a Kubernetes cluster with social authentication in front. We're going to use GitHub as the IDP, the identity provider, and we're going to use Gimlet Cloud uh, to deploy the app onto Kubernetes. So once you go to app.gimlet.io and then you click login, uh, you're going to be presented with a GitHub organization chooser if you have multiple accounts. I have installed Gimlet already on my company account. This time I'm going to use my personal GitHub. I have a Streamlit app prepared for this demo and I'm going to install Gimlet and granting access to this single repository. Once the instance is running, you can select which repositories you want to use. And I have only enabled a single repo on, the, on GitHub's side and I'm pulling that one in to Gimlet. I am done importing and basically what you see here is the repository screen, single repo. If you click it, you can see some sub pages. Commits could be very relevant at this point. You can see your GitHub commits inside Gimlet. And before I'm gonna do the deployment, I navigated over to the environments screen where we give you in Gimlet Cloud an ephemeral environment. It's basically a Kubernetes cluster. And once it's becoming ready, it's gonna say connected. And then I'm going to start the deployment process. I know Kubernetes may sound intimidating at first. That's why we created an ephemeral environment for you guys. Uh, it's basically, you don't have to launch a cluster, run some commands, connect to the cloud and so on. For seven days, you can use this environment. And then, you know, in the meantime, you can evaluate uh, Gimlet for your own uh, purposes. It says connected. So I'm heading over to repositories and I'm going to deploy my Streamlit application. Down here, we see this environment, which is called Fleet Silence. Now, naturally, you would call your environments as staging or test and production and so on. But right now, this uh, sandbox is going to be just fine for us. I'm going to pick this environment for deployment. And the name is going to be Streamlit App. Streamlit App, that's just fine. And Streamlit is a web application. It's not a static website. So I'm going to just use the web application template namespace. I'm just gonna use, you know, whatever is set by Gimlet. Typically, Gimlet provides you, you know, nice defaults. So even if you don't know what to do, just leave it at default and it's probably gonna be just fine. Now for Streamlit, I trust my Docker file uh, more than a build pack space deployment. So I pick Docker file and for registry, uh, there is actually a built-in registry in Gimlet, so you don't have to be bring Docker Hub or uh, GitHub's container registry or Azure's or something like that. Although you can, uh, by default, if you use the built-in one on this very cryptic URL, it's going to be just fine. And the, the Docker file lives on the root of my project. I'm going to show you that shortly. And the port is important. If you don't set the right port, your application will be running, but it will not serve traffic. So I've said that. Environment variables, I don't need any of those. And this default domain is fine. And in Gimlet's ephemeral environment, we provide you a domain name uh, under this suffix, which represents you. Now, if I hit deploy, uh, the image building has started. And after some time, it will deploy the application. This should be familiar, some app get installed and then Python uh, installs. All right, image is built, it's pushed to the registry. Now we did a bunch of things. Uh, we have uh, generated a manifest, we wrote it to Git, we synchronized it to the cluster and finally uh, the application is, uh, has shown up and we have confetti, we have a single pod, it's in the running state. And then, you know, we have the app running on a dedicated URL. It's pretty cool, huh? It's a random app. Don't be bothered with it. All right. So this was the basic deployment. We still don't have a uh, social authentication in front, uh, but before we can set it up, uh, we 
should write the configuration to git. Now, if I look at this commit that Gimlet just made, uh, you know, you can see the settings that you have set on the UI uh, show up on, in this YAML file. So this is your source code repository or actually my source code repository, stream it up. There is a .gimlet folder and inside there are a gazillion uh, uh, previous configurations, but uh, just now uh, we have pushed this file, uh, application name, uh, port we have set, image, build strategies and repositories and registries and so on and the ingress which is like how uh, to bind uh, a domain name onto the application this is a uh, gimlet's uh, manifest file so this is our proprietary format but it's using a helm chart so if you are a little bit familiar with kubernetes uh, all the components of gimlet are open source tools uh, it's basically this file is a Helm chart wrapper which specifies the Helm chart version and the values and a few more things like application name, environment or cluster and namespace. And while I'm here, let me show you the Docker file as well. Um, Docker file is plain simple from Python, apt get a bunch of packages, expose a port, run pip install and then run streamlit uh, to serve traffic. All right, uh, back to the application. Now uh, the deployments screen actually shows a, a service card, which you can see the service state, you can see the logs, you can go down to pod level and you, you know you can describe a pod, which in Kubernetes is kind of like if you need to debug things, you usually come here and you can edit and restart and so on. And actually I want to edit now because we want to set uh, social authentication. Now container image, this is what we have set uh, previously and under domain we can protect this application with uh, an OAuth proxy. Now I will enable this proxy soon enough but before that I need to create something on GitHub's side as well. So if I go to the environment settings and go to ingress uh, I want to configure this ingress. Before that, I need to write the Git repositories to GitHub. This is a one-time action. Uh, basically, Gimlet is GitOps, so every manifest we deploy to Kubernetes is written to a Git repository first, and then Kubernetes pulls it down from this Git repository. So for example, the Streamlit app which is deployed, uh, even though you have seen previously the Gimlet manifest, which was like a nice 20 lines long YAML, it generated a lot longer version of that uh, for Kubernetes to understand. Now, now we, since we have our Git repositories, let me uh, show you how to configure uh, the auth proxy. And this is how it's done. So basically there are a couple of fields to set. Uh, I need a cookie secret, I need a GitHub organization or actually user. So I am actually just want to allow myself uh, into this application and I need to go to GitHub and I need to create an auth application. If you have done this before, you know it's a little bit of an error prone process, but uh, I think we're going to be just fine this time. So I'm going to call it uh, auth proxy demo homepage URL. I actually need to cheat here a bit because we just published a blog post about the settings that you need to set. So if you're gonna come to our blog post and locate the social authentication part, homepage URL should be this setting. Uh, let me just fill this later and then authorization callback URL is the other setting. These are the two things that you need to set correctly and the prefix generated by Gimlet is actually uh, your dedicated uh, suffix like as you can see here this is the suffix. So if I go back to here and set it twice and I register the application. Now I have a client ID which uh, oh, environments again ingress 
auth proxy client ID. I put it here, I encrypt it. So actually the values that you see on my screen will be encrypted throughout uh, the whole process only in the cluster when it's get used. Oh, that's the only time when it will be resolved uh, from the encrypted form. And of course you see now my client ID and most likely you will see uh, my client secret as well. I'm gonna delete this application so you don't get too smart about this. All right, so this is the client secret. I encrypted that too. User, once again, Laszlo CPH, and we need a cookie secret, which can be any random string. The only thing is that it has to have a, a certain length, 16 or 32 characters. So let me cheat a bit uh, again from this blog post. And some somewhere there is this command. This is how I like to generate random strings uh, from my terminal. This is going to be my cookie secret. All right, back to Gimlet, cookie secret set and encrypted. Cool, now I have all these things. Um, now, because Gimlet is GitOps, now you can see that the changes are actually in a configuration file. So not just a, in a random database inside Gimlet, it's gonna go into a configuration file in an encrypted form. And if I save that, it actually goes to GitHub into this GitOps repository in the form of a pull request. So again, you need to review once more. If you are satisfied, you merge this. And you know, as I mentioned before, we write manifest uh, to Git and then the cluster synchronize it from, uh, from this Git repository. So for example, this one, the infrastructure repository was just updated less than a minute ago. This is the commit uh, we just placed. So if I look at this one, you know, this is the commit as uh, we discussed previously. And this customization shows that it's still being reconciled. So it's basically being deployed to the cluster. You can see down here your environments and the flashing blue light is actually showing that something is happening. And of course, red or orange colors are bad. So if you see that, you can come here and figure out what's going wrong. But seemingly everything is all right here. So we most likely have an auth proxy uh, in front of our applications. So let's go back to the application side. Uh, we've been here before, but now we can actually enable this setting. So if I click this button, uh, again, it puts some settings into this YAML file or into this configuration file, which if you don't use Gimlet, you would have to set it yourself. It's all open source, so you can read up on it and you know you can configure it. These are all, all projects being on GitHub. But basically these settings are, uh, hey, you need to set this Nginx ingress auth URL, which is doing something and then this other URL is doing something else. But once you save this, it placed a commit again to your source code repository. There is this, uh, application config, this is where the changes have gone. And you know, you need to also deploy this version. So if you head over to commits, this was less than a minute ago. This is our commit uh, we, that we just made and you can deploy this one to the cluster. And again, Docker image build, configuration apply. And once it's done, we're gonna have social auth in front of our Streamlit app. All right, uh, the Git commit was made and now the cluster is pulling down the new version and now, now the new version is being created. Soon the old, old one will be terminated. So yes, this is the new version running. And if I visit this link, then I should see a GitHub authorization page. So what does it say? Auth proxy demo by me. It's gonna request my personal user data. And if I authorize this, I'm able to look at the app. So. Cool, now we have social auth. And if you go to another browser uh, where you are not authorized, uh, then you, you know, you still have to log into GitHub. Let's see what happens. Okay, I authorize, but this time around it says 500, which is strange. I would have expected 403, but I'm gonna debug that later. 
All right, so on the commits screen, we can see that the latest version with the latest configuration is online. Uh, the service card shows the latest commit. And if I visit the app, I am usually greeted by the GitHub auth screen. So that was the demo.